Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Saturday Morning Makes on Mother's Day weekend. First of all, I just want to say a huge hello to all the moms and all the people who nurture us, the people who have helped make us who we are and who are also in turn making their children into beautiful people. Um, mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, um, everybody that nurtures our children and that has helped us become who we are. Um, we celebrate them today. So I send my love out to all the moms, um, to all the aunts, to all the people that um, help enrich each other's lives as a mother figure. Um, and I also want to send my love out to all of those that are, are missing their mothers today, um, missing grandmothers, people that they love, that they wish were still with them. And um, I just pray that you feel their presence with you today. Anyone that is missing a loved one, whether it's a child, a mother, a father, etc., um, just know that uh, I hope you feel their love and presence. Love never ends. And uh, everybody have a beautiful day, okay? A beautiful Mother's Day weekend. So I am here today um, with Saturday Morning Makes, and I am excited to share what I'm going to share with you today. Um, I am a huge fan of Diane's art. Um, for those of you d that don't know um, Studio Duda Art, um, and uh, you're going to get it to know a little bit about it today from me. Um, I, If you've been on Pinterest and Etsy and Instagram and social media for any length of time, if you go to places like Zazzle and Society6, then you're familiar with um, possibly with Diane's art. And uh, it's some of my favorite artwork and uh, fun prints to have in your house, to hang on your walls, uh, to remind you of important things. And uh, today I'm going to share some of her wonderful digital stamp products with you. And uh, to get started, I'm just showing you a print here where I have four different one of her different digital stamps on printed out on a sheet of um, 80 pound, eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And to paper piece these, because I love to paper piece images, what you're going to do first is pick out uh, some cardstock. This here is a digital print from Irala Miha Shop on Etsy. And I will link this in the comment area, um, or I'll link uh, to Arala Miha's shop. Um, but you can use any paper that you have um, that you're able to send through a printer. So you're literally going to print a sheet of paper. In my case, I like to print it card front size, so I do four prints to a page. Okay, And then you're going to turn, in my printer, you turn it over and you reinsert it into your paper holder. And then you're going to select the four images you want to print and hit print. And when it comes out, you will have the images printed onto the pattern paper so that you can then go in and trim out um, the clothing or, for example, the trees here, and you can paper piece them onto a card front. So the cards that I'm going to show you today, some of them are Copic colored, but a lot of them are paper pieced using this method. And you can take any four pattern papers that you want and you can print them out. And then I, I wanted to show you one other thing. Diana always provides um, one image that doesn't have a sentiment or background um, and then another image that often has a background or a sentiment added. Um, so you can see I printed these ones without the sentiments on them, okay? But on this sheet, um, I show you how you can print them with the sentiments. So she gives you both options when you're printing them out, which is just wonderful, okay? So I've made a bunch of cards to share with you today. I'm very excited that Diane has provided me with a code. Um, for you guys to receive 25% off of her digital images, the code is Saturday Morning Makes 25 Off. So S M M 25 O F F. Okay, you'll go to her site on Etsy, which I will link in the comment area below. Again, it's called Studio Duda Art, and I want to thank Di for Diane for providing the code for us. Um, and it's 25% off the stamps in her shop. So if you're interested in buying digital stamps, you can use this code for 25% off. Okay, it's just for the stamps in her store, the digital stamp products. And uh, it's good for this week only, so May 8th to May 14th, 2021. Okay, and I will put this code in the more information box. I always include a lot of information and links in that in the um, more section of the video. So go take a look at that if you need the code um, after this video is over. All right, and let's get on to the projects, okay? So I made a lot of cards this week. 
Um, I have been planning for this Mother's Day Saturday morning makes for a while, and um, I just want to share with you all the cards that I created. So I thought the first one I should share should this one be this one that says Happy Mother's Day. This is a sentiment from Paper Tray Ink that I cut down to be three pieces to fit it on the card. And this beautiful image just, it just makes me smile. <laughs> All of Diana's art does. Diana, I just love your art. Um, Diana, I have a sister, Diana. Sorry about that. She goes by Di, and my sister goes by Di too. So, um, but this one has little fairy wings, which I have kind of popped up a little bit so that they look like they're moving. And then a little collar and a coat with little leaves on it. She's carrying a little potted flower, which I just love. And you can see that I've sprayed the card with glitter spray. And I also edged some of the um, card with uh, stickles so that this really, really sparkles for Mother's Day. So uh, I just think these images are just adorable. You don't even need to do much to them, but I do love paper piecing. And then the inside looks like this. So just a really sweet and simple card using the art, which says it all. You don't need to do much because Diana has done, Diane's done all the hard work for you. And then here's one where I use the color purple. And it, this one says, hello, gorgeous. And again, you can print it with a sentiment, or if you want to use a different sentiment, you can print it without and then add your own sentiment. And this one, I um, colored it to be a beautiful African-American woman. And I have a friend this reminds me of. And uh, I love how, if you look really closely, Diane's art has little typing in the background, which I just love. So a little like book print. And um, I just think it adds so much. And on this one, I took my Copic marker and I did a little bit of flicking to add some little dots in the background. Okay? So I just love how that one turned out. And I just think that's such a sweet, sweet image. Um, here's the next one. This one says, hello, friend. And again, it is paper piece. This one is paper pieced with a tilde paper. And um, I also colored part of it with um, a Copic marker. So this is the, the actual paper, and then this is the paper with the print on it from the dress as well as some Copic coloring. I paper pieced the little flowers or trees at the bottom. And uh, this this sentiment here is from Arala Miha Shop on Etsy. Remember that we still have a code going from last week's Saturday Morning Makes for um, Betty's Shop on Etsy. So don't forget about that code. It's good for the entire month of May. And uh, so you can see the tilde paper in the background and I just inked the background of this and I did spray the sparkle spray on here, the glitter spray. And then the inside of this one has some beautiful pink gingham, which you know that I love my gingham papers. And then a little piece of the tilde paper and then some of that Amazon trim that goes around to the back. And you'll notice I have a little mark on here. And for those of you that are new to stamping, I will tell you how I get rid of those. I use this mono um, eraser that has sand in it and it works really good at clearing off any little marks that you get on your cards. So before I mail things out I always have this and I'm always checking to make sure that my cards all cleaned up. So there's a little tip for you today. Um, my next one is this one here and I this image just makes me smile every time I look at it. Oh my goodness. And I love her little ponytail. I added a little teeny tiny um, uh, ribbon onto it or string bow onto her little ponytail. I colored the little puppy just makes me smile. Oh my goodness. And this one is just Copic colored. And then I added a beautiful embossed background in an oval shape to this one. And let me show you how I did that. I used this beautiful Cuddlebug embossing folder. It's called Cross My Heart. And this is the pattern on it. Let's see if you guys can see the hearts. There you go. Um, so it's kind of like a prim heart all over pattern. So I use that to create this beautiful oval. And this die set is just an oval scallop die. This one happens to be from um, Elizabeth Craft Designs. And it's by Els Vandiver. So this is the one. And you've seen me use this many times. So I use those two products for that. And then... Uh, this beautiful paper in the background is from Irala Miha Shop, and this is the sentiment that comes with this image, okay? So it says, you make me feel all warm and fuzzy, and I just love this card. I added a little piece of this pink trim, which I showed you the other day on a previous video, and it has these little flowers in it. I'm not sure where I got this. I, I bought a bunch of it probably from Etsy. That's where I get a lot of my trims. And I just loaded it onto this card and I've been sh slowly using it on my cards. 
So um, that is how I added this trim to this card here. And then on the inside, this is a die from Frantic Stampers called the Arches Frames Dies. And I will try to link all of the dies down below for those of you that are interested. But if I miss anything, just leave me a comment and I can get you the information on the product I used. Okay, here's another one um, of the Hello Gorgeous. And uh, this one I made a blonde and uh, I used my favorite little yellow gingham um, on her paper piecing. And I just think she turned out so cute. And again, this one is um, has that glitter spray on it. And uh, I love how that makes them sparkle, especially for Mother's Day. Here's a neat one to send for a birthday or just for someone who maybe is going through a tough time. You could send them a box of cupcakes and this little card that says, keep calm and eat a cupcake. <laughs> I love this sweet little image. She's just so cute. Die, your art just touches me. I just want to buy every print. Um, they just make my heart smile. Um, so this is just lovely. And then I just added a little piece of trim. This is from a company on Etsy. If I can find where I bought this from, I will link it. I love this little bobble trim. Um, I bought it years ago, and I'm working my way through the pieces that I bought. I think I got it in green and pink and blue and possibly red for Christmas, I think. And then this beautiful oval here, here is a gingham background step that I got from my friend Robin. Hi, Robin. Robin of Simple Designs here on YouTube. And um, happy Mother's Day, Robin. And then I just added a scalloped frame and a piece of the paper to finish off this card. So really sweet. All oh, these images just make my heart smile. I hope they're making your heart smile too. And let me push this up a little bit further so you can still see them all. And then this one is one of my favorites, especially for little girl cards. This one says, you were born to sparkle. And I really think we were all born to sparkle. Um, we're all uniquely beautiful. And uh, we all have a beautiful creative spirit. And so this image, what I love about this is you literally could print this, put it onto some colored cardstock five times, and you've got a beautiful set of cards to send to somebody. And uh, it's such a universal statement that you could use for your girlfriends for any reason. And uh, I just added a piece of pink trim to it, colored it with very lightly with Copic markers, and then added one of Anna's um, uh, crazy stitch dies on the inside. So you can see the little stitching. So that's an impression obsession die. So this would be a really easy card set to make. All the hard work is done for you with this beautiful image. Oh my goodness, this one just makes my heart smile. And again, you can print it without this sentiment if you want, and then um, add any sentiment you need. So, so sweet, especially with this little puppy with the crown and tutu. Oh my goodness, okay. Here's another one that I just love this image. <laughs> so cute, oh my goodness. So this one says, even the daintiest little girl can do wondrous things. And isn't that the truth, you guys? We can all do wondrous things. Um, so this one I colored with Copic markers. And on the shirt, you can see I added glitter to some of the polka dots and tiny little sequins to some of the others. And uh, I just colored it really simply. This is that beautiful trim. I think I showed it two videos back. I almost used it on the card, my Gingham Gardens 6x6 paper pad card. But um, it's a, just a beautiful trim, again, more than likely from Etsy. Um, and I just tucked that along the side. And then this beautiful rose paper underneath here is an Arala Miha Shop digital paper. So with roses. And I love that it comes in kind of a blue color, this cream color, and, and a light pink, pale pink color. So I just think this turned out so sweet. Let me put that one over here. And then I have a couple more to show you. Um, this one uses a die from In Love Art Shop. And uh, I forget, I think it was Jennifer that I saw. I'm trying to remember, I think I saw Jennifer use this die. And uh, she was the one that got me to order it. I think it's Strawberry Cream 39. I think that's where I saw it. I might be wrong. But um, I really just liked the fact that it's a frame with these beautiful hearts. And you know how much I love my prim style hearts. And so when I saw this, I really wanted it, and I went and ordered that die, and that is what I used to create this card as well as this card. And the difference here with this image is that I did print it smaller, and like I said, with digital stamps, you can print them any size you want. So that allows you, originally I was gonna make a tag with this, um, and so I did print a bunch of them smaller, and I think I'm gonna make a set of tags for birthdays and stuff. 
So, but here's where I did it on a card and I used um, the two different sizes using the same die. And this one says Happy Mother's Day and then this one just says Happy Day. And you could certainly put a Mother's Day sentiment on the inside of this one. So, so sweet. Um, all right, so those are all the cards that I made using Diane's beautiful art. I made so many, I can't even really fit them all in. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to try to share as many of the images that I have as I could. Um, and I think you will love her Etsy shop as well as uh, you can find her on at these locations. So Etsy, Society6, and Zazzle. And if you... Um, if you just type in Studio Duda Art on Google, everything will come up for you. You'll find all of the links to the different places. But again, this code is only for Etsy, okay? And it's related to Saturday Morning Makes 25 off. That's the code, SMM25 off. And it's just for her digital stamps. And you'll, you'll wanna check out everything in there. There's her, she has some beautiful cross stitch um, in a collaboration that she does with Miss Lawson. Those are in her shop too, if you like to cross stitch. Um, but there's also prints and, and uh, I can't remember if it's Zazzle or Society6, but um, you'll also find things like home decor and mugs and just so many different things that I just love. So um, I just wanted to thank Di Diane. Diane, thank you so much for giving the code to my subscribers. Um, and to everybody on Facebook and Instagram because she is going to allow me to post the code there too. Um, and I just want to thank her for sharing her heart, her beautiful heart with all of us and with the world. Um, I think it's so fun that uh, she became an artist in her when she turned 40 and look at how successful she's become. And it just shows that we can follow our dreams at any time in our life. And, uh, and look at what happens and look at all the beauty that she's sharing with the world because these cards are going to go out into the world and they're going to bring smiles to so many people's hearts. And I know that um, those of you that are familiar with her art, I think Elise has shared some of it in, her, in a journal once that I've seen. Um, I've seen Lena share it. I've seen different people throughout Etsy and Instagram and YouTube share different things that they've created with her beautiful images. And uh, I just think it's so wonderful to, to just get to know artists and to share their beautiful, beautiful spirits with all of you. Um, and just as much as I love seeing what you guys are creating with and uh, learning about artists through all that you share. So happy Mother's Day to everybody. Everybody choose joy. Okay. Have a beautiful Mother's Day. And uh, remember that you make my heart smile. All right. Blessings and hugs and a special, special um, hug to all of my friends that are going through hard times. To Kat, to Brian, to Tina, to Felicia, Tina Kappa, Tina Holmes. Um, Everybody that's missing someone they love today, uh, I just send my love out to you. Okay, think of all those happy thoughts, okay? Um, Violet, uh, I'm thinking of you too, and Jennifer, a trace of sparkles. So um, all my love, you guys. Take good care. Bye now.